Hi, welcome to the first episode of the new series dealing with the sites of Middle-earth and their history. Today we are starting with the Grey Havens. The Grey Havens, also known as Midlond, were an elvish seaport city on both sides of the end of the Gulf of Lyon, near the mouth of the River Lune in western Eriador in the elven realm of Linden. Because of its cultural and spiritual importance to the elves, the Grey Havens in time became the primary elven settlement west of the Misty Mountains prior to the establishment of Eregion and later Rivendell. Even after the death of Gil-galad, and as the elves dwindled in numbers by the year, the Grey Havens remained a major elven settlement and the main departure point of elven ships to Amman. Despite being a major port, by the late Third Age, the Grey Havens had sparse population, like, for example, Rivendell or northeastern Mirkwood. Grey Havens were founded by the surviving elves of Beleriand, those elves who have chosen to remain in Middle Earth after the wars against Morgoth, as a capital of their new realm in Linden, in the first year of the Second Age. The Grey Havens were known for their good harborage and famous dockyards, building many great ships. These were used by all tribes of the Eldar to leave Middle Earth for Eressa or Valinor. Kiadan, the shipwright, became the Lord of the Havens, right from their foundation till their abandonment in the Fourth Age. 600 years after the foundation, a first Numenoran ship, Entules, under Captain Vantor, arrived in Midland, and it was there that the Numenorans first landed in Middle-earth. Friendship and cooperation was established, and regular contact between Linden elves and Numenorans followed. In the war between elves and Sauron, the Loon was held in desperate defense of the Havens, after Sauron had conquered almost all of Eriador. The beleaguered defenders under Gilgalad called for help, and Tarminastir sent great fleet from Númenor to the Havens. The allied forces then drove Sauron's armies back and saved the day. During and after the war of the last alliance of elves and men, many of the Noldor and Sindar, living in the Havens, sailed for Valinor. But even after the fall of Gilgalad, and also during the time of the kings of Arnor, the Grey Havens were still home to the largest population of Noldor in Middle-earth, aside from Rivendell in Eriador. Círdan remained the lord of the Havens, but became also a de facto lord of the whole region and ruled the elves of Linden from a Midland. In the Third Age, the Istari, also called the Wizards, arrived in Middle-earth at the Grey Havens. Círdan, seeing further and deeper than most, identified Gandalf as the one to trust the most, right upon meeting him, and gave him Narya, the Ring of Fire, one of the three elven rings. Later, in the Third Age, when Angmar, under the rule of the Witch King, badly pressed the last remnants of the Kingdom of Artedain, and was on the brink of victory, Prince Arnor of Gondor brought a fleet of Gondorians to the Grey Havens to their aid. The fleet was so massive that the ships of Gondor filled the Grey Havens as well as Forlond and Harlond. Together with the elven army under Glorfindel, they were able to turn the tide and destroy the Witch King's forces. At the beginning of the War of the Ring, Kiodan sent Galdor of the Havens on an errand to Rivendell, and thus Galdor became the representative of the elves of Linden at the Council of Elrond, which agreed on sending Frodo to Mordor. Following the defeat of Sauron and the coronation of King Aragorn II Elessar in Gondor, the last of the Noldor continued to leave Middle-earth from the Grey Havens, heading for Valinor. That was true also for the three keepers of the Elven Rings, Gandalf, Elrond and Galadriel. They were accompanied by Bilbo Baggins and Frodo Baggins, who were given the honor of taking the straight road because they had both been bearers of the One Ring. Years later, Samwise Gamgee was also allowed to sail west from the Grey Havens, as he was a ring bearer too, although briefly. The Grey Havens were maintained well into the Fourth Age, 
but its population declined along with the elven presence in Middle-earth generally. It was recognized that eventually Midland's purpose would reach the end, when there were no more elves who wished to cross the sea. At that time, Kiodan abandoned the Grey Havens and finally sailed west himself. He was joined by Celeborn, who had eventually sought the Grey Havens, and these two ancient elves took the last ship together. If you like the video, please give it a thumb up and consider subscribing, as each takes just a second to do and will be very much appreciated. See you next time.